some people say, you know, uh, the reason you haven't experienced healing is because you either lack the necessary faith or there's some secret sin in your life. If you just got rid of those, the fact is and you had true faith, God would heal you because He wants everybody to be healed. What would you say? Well, I would point them to the Gospel of Mark, chapter 1. Everybody's coming to Jesus in the town of Capernaum, getting healed left and right. He's been doing it all day long. The sun sets, He retires, uh, the people go away. The next morning Jesus gets up early. He goes up to pray on the side of the hill. The sun rises, people begin coming back, more healings, more expectations, and the disciples are frantic. Where is Jesus? Where is He? And so they run up on the side of the hill to find Him, and He's there praying, Master, they say, all these people are looking for you. And Jesus says to them the most odd thing. He says, let's go somewhere else. Let's go to the nearby villages so I can preach there for, now get this, this is why I have come. Now, it wasn't as though Jesus didn't care about all the cancer-ridden and the paralyzed and the bl blind and the lame down there at the bottom of the hill. It's just that their maladies weren't His priority. The priority was to preach the good news of the kingdom, to rescue souls out of the clutches of Satan, to expand the kingdom of the Father, to plant the family banner on territory that the devil thinks is his. I mean, that's the core of Christ's plan. It's to rescue us from sin and to get us to hate our transgressions as much as He does. And when I say that, I, I mean transgressions of fear, anxiety, doubt, worry, um, mistrust, um, um, stubbornness, selfishness, pride, all these things we need desperate healing of so much more than fingers that need to work or feet that need to walk. Yeah, people say, Johnny, I'm not sure you understand because, you know, if you'd just gone to a faith healing meeting and you'd really believe stuff would happen, and you did. You went to a great faith healer by the name of Catherine Kuhlman way back when. Some people might not know her, but I remember her. And the fact is you went, and what happened? Absolutely, my sister took me there, and it was back in the late 70s, and there comes Catherine Coleman at the Hilton Ballroom Hotel and in her sweeping white gown with the spotlights and the organ crescendos and scriptures read and testimonies are given, and all of us in the wheelchair section are looking at the spotlight over there on the crowd, and everybody seems to get being healed over there. Come over here where all the hard cases are. You know, not a one of us in that wheelchair section got healed. And they ushered us out early so as to not create a, 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 a traffic jam at the elevator, I suppose. And there I am, sitting number 15 in a line of 35 people at the elevator. And I look up and down this line, and I'm thinking, something's wrong with this picture. Mm -hmm. I'm not reading Scripture right if I'm thinking that I was supposed to have been healed back in that ballroom. Mm -hmm. and, and it was that experience that catapulted me deeper into God's Word to understand His priority and what real healing actually is.